Now, with Tekken 8 being a few days away, everybody have been wondering what control to actually pursue when it comes to learning Tekken 8. So, in this video, we'll be putting y'all onto source when it comes to prices, mechanics, delay, which controls to actually get, which controller actually will fit your playstyle, character, etc. But without wasting any more time, let's get straight up into it. Starting off with the PS5 controller. Now, for Street Fighter 6 and other games, I have realized that the PS5 controller was a little bit iffy, a tad bit iffy. But now, when I actually played the Tekken 8 on like the PS5 controller, I'm not sure what it was, but it felt a lot more smoother to actually use the PS5 controller. I don't know why. Randomly, also, they also uh, made it to where, like, they fixed the PS5 versions of, like, fighting games so that way it had less input delay. And I was literally just having fun on the demo. Not even, like, the record of this video. Probably, like, a few hours ago recording this video. I was literally having the most fun I ever had on Tekken 8 just wilding out or with the normal PS5 controller. The input delay used to be bad. It used to be, like, 5, maybe 10. I barely even noticed input delay now it's probably like two second input delay i'm not even sure two millisecond price of these controllers also varies too you could get like a battle beaver a scub which is like 200 maybe like 300 dollars uh the normal price of the controllers is like 70 if you want warranty like 80 or 90 dollars coming out like after like tax and all there are actually other controllers other pads that you are able to use to where it's easier to actually learn tech and inputs but like i said i was learning one simple combo just using a ps5 controller and i felt absolutely just i, I feel like how i was supposed to play from like street fighter 6 and other the games on the ps5 controller the accessibility of this controller is out of this world you can order an amazon gamestop your local store probably have some some rip off you know of it there's a lot of options to where you're able to get this controller at and for right now this controller right now is up there for me it's, it's up there now for the next controller which i think is my personal favorite and my best controller is at the playstation 4 controller the playstation 4 controller is basically one of the smallest not small as in like you know if you have big hands you're still able to play with it but the smallest as in it's one of the controllers to where you actually slide your finger a lot of places as fast as possible it's not like the ps5 controller the ps5 controller on like the, the triggers and the bumpers are a little bit bumpy buffy like buffy is so just strong like king but when it comes to the size difference when it comes to the accessibility when it comes to the input delay the input delay in my opinion is non-existent i really do not feel no input delay in terms of just using a ps4 controller or other versions of the game besides ps5 because you're not able to use the ps5 controllers for the ps5 type of games or my fault ps4 controllers for the ps5 type of games in terms of just input delay and how i feel about it i feel like this is a well-rounded controller i've tried it in multiple fighting games and it hasn't filled me the only bad thing about this controller that i did realize is that the, the d-pad is a little bit sensitive but that's because i've been holding block a lot in fighters and then fighters is a whole different game i, I promise you i said but the d-pad could possibly be the only problem but other than that this controller comes at a price of 60 to 70 dollars with tax that's probably like 80 dollars it's the same price as the ps5 controller but my only problem like i said is the d-pad you're able to get it almost everywhere they have multiple rip ups of this ps4 controller this ps4 controller is one of the most easiest controls to actually get into and the pad is very easy to actually execute a lot of things and once you get used to the pad and like the sensitivity of it and the buttons and everything you will see how good this controller just feels it feels so fast it feels so like fluid it feels so like i'm telling y'all this ps4 controller is really a sleeper when it comes to pads and control now for the next controller we have the hitbox now the hitbox in my opinion is one out of the three controllers that i would actually recommend so it's hitbox and playstation controller playstation 4 controller for right now and i will be telling you on the, the last one next but the playstation 4 controller and this hitbox just go hand in hand you're able to actually get a lot of accurate inputs it's very easy in terms of just pressing two buttons down when it comes to using a hitbox the way how your fingers roll off a hitbox if you're not used to the hitbox i feel like it's going to be a big problem if you're not used to arcade sticks it's going to be a big problem but hitbox in my opinion is one of the best controllers right now along as alongside the ps4 controller the only bad thing about the hitbox is two things one a lot of people that i have been speaking to that have hitboxes randomly they wire or like the outlet or input whatever plug it just randomly messes up uh, you sometimes need a new wire, sometimes need a new hitbox. And then a the price of these things and the accessibility, you're not able to get a hitbox wherever you want. And then plus the price of these is like $400. They, they skyrocketed to the moon. I don't know why. It is what it is. Probably because they all sponsoring a lot of people that are all using hitboxes and they need that money back. You know what I mean? But the hitbox, in my opinion, is worth it if you are used to playing on type of like arcade sticks and you just want to like not use like the stick anymore. You just want to use like buttons. Input delay is just as small as like the PS4 input delay. My only problem is the price, the accessibility of it. You are able to customize a lot of hitboxes, but it's just the price and the accessibility. Who's playing $400? 
fuck controller like come on bruh now for the last thing in my top three controllers before i get to other controllers is this arcade stick a lot of tech players have been using ps4 pad the arcade stick in the hitbox the arcade stick is one of the best things alongside the ps4 in the hitbox because you are able to put in a precise inputs just like how you're able to put in precise inputs with the hitbox but the only difference between that and like the hitbox is like i said you are not using a pad or like a, a stick you're using like four buttons directional buttons and then the ps4 controller which is actually crazy that i forgot to mention on the ps4 controller you are able to use your bumpers and triggers as buttons the arcade stick is very valuable you're able to get it from a lot of places the accessibility is very good the input delay i haven't really noticed input delay every single time that i've used an arcade stick when it comes to like ps4 ps5 games even on pc i have yet to experience some type of input delay inside the game or and just using it as a whole the price range is not really as bad so when they take the stick over 400 dollars you're able to get a lot of things i recommend using obsidian if y'all want to go check out a video i made a previous video and a tier list on multiple controllers that i would actually recommend y'all multiple products that i would actually give y'all a link y'all actually tell y'all about i've seen all case things range between like 170 something to like 400 there's a lot of options on display when you actually are using an arcade stick which is why i actually mess with people who actually use arcade sticks you know precise inputs do not spend it too much bang for your buck or buck for your bang or whatever how they say it it's just a good option overall because if you are used to actually especially old school players that are actually used to like using like the arcade stick i actually do recommend y'all if y'all all glued to that but like i said ps4 controller hitbox and then as well as the arcade stick is my top three for my next controller which is also a sleeper is the xbox elite controller now these xbox elite controllers they basically have mouse triggers i mean you're able to get mouse triggers like v pads um as well and triggers and bumpers as well as like ps5 or playstation controllers but elite controllers battle beaver controllers scuff controllers they all have back buttons which also allow them to play or press whatever they want to press there's a lot of customizable options for these controllers controllers range from like 100 to like 400 you're able to deck out your controller to the moon but for the xbox controllers i mean the ps5 and the xbox controllers are mainly just personal preference my only problem with the xbox controller is not the price the price range actually ranges from like the same price as like a ps5 ps4 controller but my main problem is the all-on of the controller not only the controller is big and the triggers feel weird i feel like having a d-pad in the way that the d-pad is actually outlined i don't feel like it would actually play well as in other games as tekken i personally feel like it would feel weird and look weird the outline of the controller actually just defeats the purpose of actually playing tekken thank you so much have at least accurate inputs but then the d-pads from like the past controls that i've seen they're not very uh i would say i don't mind sure if i want to say precise but if you know what i mean it's like a d-pad and then like it's like corners to it it's not like ps4 controller or ps5 to where like there's directional d-pads and then if you want to do like a down back or whatever you have to actually hold down both it's more so like everything is sort of like connected which is like very weird but then it also to personal preference so if you are able to actually learn that you know that's up to you but my top three picks for best controllers right now is the sony playstation 4 controller the hitbox and arcade sticks I, like i said i recommend the obsidian i, I always recommend obsidian make sure y'all comment down below the controllers that y'all are using i will be commenting down below whether or not it's a bad controller the input delay and etc make sure y'all leave a like squad if you're new hit the notification bell and join me on this tekken journey because we will be going hard for tekken and other than that i'll catch you on the next one peace